Good day. Again, welcome to the future. I'm Jim Patel, your instructor at Columbia Gorge Community College RET program. And today we're discussing Thevenin's theorem. Okay, given this little network we've got here, what is the resistance of it? Well, we don't know. And the reason why we don't know is because you can approach this from a number of different angles. Okay, let's say that we had a source right here. And it doesn't matter what magnitude it is, but basically that source, there's pretty much no debate that it's seeing the 6 in series with 8, in series with the 18, in series with the 12. So RT is equal to 6 plus 8 plus 12 plus 18 is going to give us 46 ohms. That's not hard to see. But now check this out here. With that source removed, what is the resistance of this? Well, to make this a job a little bit easier, I'm going to put some nodes in here. Got A, B, C, and D. Now, if I was to hook my ohm meter up here, what is the resistance that the ohm meter sees? Well, there's a small sensing current that comes out, gets to this point, and it decides to go this way and that way. So, Basically, it says that the 6 and the 18 and the 12 are all in series, and they are in parallel with the 8. So, 6 plus 8 plus 12, just go ahead and put that in your calculator, 6 plus 8 plus 12, 26 ohms. But now that's in parallel with an 8. So 26 times 8 divided by 26 plus 8, 6.118 ohms. OK? Let's see, we've got this, this configuration where basically these three are in series in parallel with that 1. Now let's go ahead and modify this ever so slightly. where we take our own meter and hook it up in this manner. Now what happens? 18 and 6 and 8 are in series, but they're now in parallel with the 12. So 18 plus 6 plus 8 in parallel with the 12. So it's 32 in parallel with 12. So it's 32 times 12 divided by 32 plus 12. 8.727 ohms, which is astoundingly different than our earlier calculation of 6.118 ohms. So this is one of those situations where you got to realize it depends upon your perspective. If you hook something up on this side, you're going to see it in a resistance of 6.118 ohms. But if you hook something up to this here, you're going to see a resistance of 8.727 ohms. Hopefully this little conceptual exercise here that we just did is going to help you out a lot when we discuss Thevenin theorem in the next two seconds. Thevenin's theorem simply states that any network, no matter how complicated it is, can be reduced to a voltage source in series with a resistance. So this is viewed from the perspective 
of RL, a load resistor. And I'm going to mark those terminals A and B. Okay? So, given this network here, where there's a 9 volt source with a 3 ohm and a 6 ohm resistor hooked up in this fashion to a load resistor, we should ideally be able to replace what's inside the box with its Thevenin equivalent. Okay, so again, it's going to be the Thevenin equivalent is the voltage source, ETH, in series with a resistor called RTH. So, to do this, we need to first step mark our terminals. Okay? To remove the load resistor. Number three, find RTH. Now this is where our exercise and perspective was. Okay? Now, there's no debate. In this, from the source here, the source is seeing three, then the load resistor, and then the six in parallel. These guys would be in parallel with this thing in series with the three. But we are looking from a different perspective. We are looking from the perspective of the load resistor at A and B looking back. So, unfortunately, there's a voltage source there. So, remove sources. That's part of A. And basically, remove sources is if it's a voltage source, it's a short current source, it's an open. Okay? So, since this is a 9 volt voltage source, we're going to go ahead and remove it by replacing a short. So how do I do that? I'm going to go ahead and redraw my 3 ohm resistor and my 6 ohm resistor. I'm keeping my terminals A and B. And I've replaced the 9 volt source with a short. Okay, now if I was to place my ohm meter right here, what would I see? Well, it's a 3 in parallel with a 6. So 3 times 6 divided by 3 plus 6 is going to give us a 2 ohm resistor. That is our Thevenin equivalent resistance. Okay? So RTH is 2 ohms. And now step 4. Find the open circuit voltage at the terminals of interest. Okay, so the terminals of interest right here is again A and B. So I'm going to redraw the network once more with our voltage source back in. And we need to find the voltage source across that open circuit. So this is a pretty easy example here in the fact that we've got a 6 ohm in series with a 3 ohm. So you know this is the critical point is because previously we had the 3 ohm in parallel with the 6 but now with a voltage source in it is definitely without a doubt seeing the 3 in series with the 6. Since this is a uh, 2 resistor network here there's no current going through this way. This sets us up for a pretty pretty easy voltage divider rule where it's 6 ohms 3 plus 6 divided by the total applied voltage basically 6 ninths of 9 6 volts so there it is our feminine equivalent voltage is 6 volts of an equivalent resistance 